Okay, folks, this is the exact lure you just saw in that photograph. I've caught hundreds of big, giant bass on this devil's horse. But now I have with me the president of Spikett Corporation, and they make the coloring systems for all the lures in the world. You make all the colors and all the paints and mm -hmm. everything. And, Don, let me ask you, what can I do with this plug? Can I restore it in any way? Yeah, the, the wood and everything looks intact and everything. So really what I see is the harnesses are messed up. Let's yeah. replace those. Let's take the hooks off, let's sand it down and repaint it. Okay, by the way, Don is an expert in woodworking. He makes lures, he makes bowls, he makes everything about wood, so he knows an awful lot about restoring plugs. So let's get started. Okay. Okay, Don, I'm just gonna take everything apart, just unscrew everything mm -hmm. and get the thing started. Now, uh, uh, do you think we'll, we'll end up with the lures as good as, this, as it's been? Mm -hmm. We can replicate the same paint pattern yeah. We can use the screw holes again because okay. they're all pretty much intact. Okay. So if we just replace this hardware, we take all these screws out here and replace take two the screws harnesses here. here. I've got some replacements that are exactly the same size as those. Okay. And you can really get this thing going good. So he's the perfect guy to do this. Okay. Okay, Don, we got it all apart. Now, what's our next step? Just sand it down, huh? I think we can sand it. Let's take a. Do we need to one. put it in a lathe? No, just just well, sand it with a, just sandpaper. Okay. We'll just we'll just hand sand it. Okay. Okay. Well, here's some here's some 120 sandpaper. Do we think 120 is enough? Yeah. Just try 120. Let's just smooth out those rough spots there. The 220. Yeah. Okay. You wanna just keep on sanding, just like you're going there. Yeah. Okay, it's about done. Okay, we're ready to, Let's ready go to, to the 400. Take the 400 to get it really smooth, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow. I've caught so many dozens of big bass on that lure. I don't uh, want to ever throw it away. I gotta, I gotta get it back, back into shape that's again. That's a good look lure. Okay, now we seal it. We need to get. Let's take a clear lacquer here. Okay, that's an acrylic lacquer. By the way, Don makes all sorts of paints. He makes everything in the world for this. Oop. Okay, what do you think? Yeah. Let Let's dry. let that dry for just a minute. We'll put one more light coat on it, and we'll let that dry, and then we'll be ready to put our white base coat Okay. On. This is our allure coat. Okay. It's, it's made for crankbaits, any yeah. kind of hard baits. Okay. It's a water-based product. It's made for airbrushing. That yeah, seals it up good. I'm gonna have a a better lure than when I started. I gotta get the bottom. Okay, I got the bottom right there. Yeah, just keep making those stripes just like you're doing, and we'll when you get through that, we'll take the airbrush and take the same paint. And we'll put the black top on it. Okay. Yep. There you go. Ooh, that's looking good. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I don't know if I ought to go anymore. I think I got it, Don. Hey, what do you think, Don? I'm getting, I'm getting yeah. pretty, pretty close, you huh? Need to be an expert. Man, yeah, I think we good. got, we got this thing about done. <laughs> That's perfect. Okay, now that's going to be the eyes to the bottom. Now I'm going to take some yellow paint and dip it in there. Do an eyeball there. Do an eyeball there. Ha <laughs> ha! I got me eyeballs! <laughs> Son! I'm ready to go. Except for a little bit of a red throat. I got to get a little red we'll on the throat. Right here, we'll and right here at the bit, bottom. And a little bit of black right on that yellow when it dries. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do a little red right here. Oh, 
That's pretty good, huh? Yeah, that was, let it dry for just a second, then you put another coat on it. Now the We're next, just about ready to put to get back together again. Yeah. The next thing we'd do is put a clear coat on it to give it a little extra okay. protection, and then we're ready to put the hardware on. Okay. This is a, a urethane base, so it's worm resistant. Okay. So if the worm touches that, it's, it not only does it give it good durability. You know, a lot of people make the mistake, they'll put plastic worms in with their hard lures, and mm -hmm. that's the worst thing you can do, because not all the yeah. paints are compatible. But if you have a urethane or epoxy, okay. it makes it worm, it's what they call worm proof. Okay. And as long as you've got that on there, a worm can touch this uh -huh. and it's not gonna hurt it. Okay. If you had a, a regular acrylic lacquer or something that you put on, it'll protect it for about two or three days and then all of a sudden the worm will just dissolve that whole coating off. Yeah. So we like to use a good worm proof finish, just okay. like this one here. Just pull it all the way back. Just keep it, pull you back. Pull it back a little further. There you go. Glossy. Looks That's good. nice. Oh boy. <laughs> Son, we're about ready to put this thing back together again. Mm -hmm. So I'll just have to screw it in. Mm -hmm. Okay, Don. I think we have the the whole plug rebuilt. We restored this old one. It was all eat up with the garfish bites and it was all, the hooks were gone and it was messed up and we completely restored it. Don said, okay, this is fine. I have my lure that I restored. And you being the woodworker that you are said, why don't we make some lures? Why don't we make this lure? Let's take so, a raw piece of wood, make a new one. Well, you know, you said aromatic cedar. So, so Don has this aromatic cedar. And, and this is cedar that he buys. And I said, well, Don, I, I make turkey calls. So I have aromatic cedar as well. This is from Johnny Morris's farm in, in Springfield, Missouri. And uh, Ronnie Curry and I, we, we hunt all of all the properties. And so we've cut this wood. And now we're ready to make a, a plug out of wood that I cut like 10 years ago out of a piece of cedar. Okay. So, so we're going to put it in the, in the wood lathe and really get it tight. How tight do I need to get it? Pretty tight? tight. Huh? Tight, tight, That's tight. Right there. That tight? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now, this is tight. Now, I can turn it on. Okay. Now, the next thing is we got to shape this thing kind of like this. Okay. Now, can I mark the end? I'm, I'm going to maybe mark it with a magic marker? Yeah, just take a marker and mark your ends, and you'll see that marker. You'll see the mark when it's turning. Okay. Now you can mark it completely now. Turn it back on again. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. Okay, now that's, that's the shape. I want to get this the shape of this thing about right. I'll put it where I can look at it. And uh, do I want to use this other one? Why don't you go ahead and start with it? We'll start this using this one. This is a carbide bit. plug is turning, what, about 2,600 RPMs, wow. And I'm gonna take this uh, 220, no, this is 120. This is 120 grit sandpaper. And I'm gonna just hold it, the cedar really sands good. It's really, really something. I can really get it the right dim dimensions. Really get it right. Get the taper right. That's one good thing about the red cedar is it sands up so nice and it's hard getting all the details with a gouge or a turning tool, but you can do so many details with the sandpaper that you can't really do otherwise mm -hmm. without having to worry about breaking it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
if you go ahead and just okay just cut it about right here that lets you have enough room to okay break something well don i think we have the thing done as well that looks like the perfect size uh That's top water plug we're ready for the, the painting process now Don, when I was just a teenager growing up, I couldn't afford lures, so I built some of my own lures. It's so rewarding, folks, to build a lure that you catch your own fish on. It's the most cherished thing in the world, so you ought to try it. It's really, really good.